In this video, we're gonna unbox the first prize package from the 2021 Jim Dolan Memorial Heroes on the Water Kayak Bass Fishing Tournament. Now, for those of you who may not be familiar with Heroes on the Water, it's a charity organization that I very, very much support. One of the main reasons why is a few years ago when my brother Jeremy was at the VA domiciliary home up in Indianapolis, Heroes on the Water would take those guys out, take them down to various lakes, and take them out fishing and kayaks. Very therapeutic, very fun veteran recreational activity. But the cool thing about Heroes on the Water is they don't limit themselves to just the veteran. They also invite the family along because a lot of times when the veterans are dealing with issues or their injuries or still recovering from injuries it's not just the veteran that suffers it's also the family that's there supporting them so big shout out to heroes on the water and sadly i think our chapter here in indiana closed because i noticed they didn't have any events this last year most likely due to the the global pandemic my brother and i are actually going to look into that next year to see what actually happened and maybe see if there's something we can do to step up and maybe help fill fill some roles there but what i did do was participate by making a 50 dollars donation to heroes on the water and joined in their kayak fishing tournament last year in 2020 it was a kayak fishing tournament so you got points based on various you know fish it wasn't limited to just bass you can you know capture multi-species of fish and each different species had like a point system i ended up winning that one i think my brother jeremy took third I just edged out with the final cast, a uh, competitor over in Ohio, and that was pretty cool. But I said that's something I was going to do. This year I made the donation, but really didn't plan on, you know, jumping in and getting into the tournament. Even though <laughs> it was specifically a bass fishing tournament this year. I just didn't know that I was going to have time to get out and try to compete in it. And I ended up getting a Saturday, the very last Saturday a chance to get out and fish and when you know it <laughs> old gramps pulled in enough fish to actually win my region and that was pretty cool now that being said one of the things i am going to do is i'm going to reach out to a lot more veterans and and other people who who might want to participate in this charity event next season to get more people to try to get involved and one of the reasons why i'm opening up this first place prize pack is to kind of show some of the prizes that you can win. Now, if you haven't seen the unboxing video of the package that I won for first place last year, I'll link that up here and down in the description below. But when I say they give out pretty good prizes, I won this sweet Tackle Fork Outfitters rod, and I had never had a TFO rod before. But as you can see, they actually branded it for Heroes on the Water. It also has this very nice logo on it. And I've still got to get this paired up with the reel and get it out on the boat for next season. <laughs> I actually kept that rod back there in the rod display all year long and kind of forgot to take it out and go fishing with it. We'll have to remedy that in 2022. But let's talk about what we got for first place for 2021. Now, first I want to start by saying thank you to all the sponsors who generously donated. There's like six or seven different regions that these go out to because there's a freshwater series where we're chasing bass but there's also saltwater events during this 30-day charity event so that's really cool that they set out that many prize packages for that many different regions all across the country start out with a nice heroes on the water logoed hat looks like it's an in infantry blue i'll give that to one of the grand babes we got a little bit bigger trophy than the one we got last year 2021 first place winner north central region freshwater with a nice Jim Dolan Memorial Tournament logo on it. Very nice. This will take its proper place up there on the Fishing Man Cave wall. From Cables, we got some sweet patriotic themed red, white, and blue eyeglass slash sunglass holders. Which I definitely need to make more use of more often. I don't know how many times this year I almost dropped the other set of eyeglasses I had in the water looking over <laughs> down in the water. So definitely got to put these into put these to work. Next, we got some sweet stuff in from Tackle Webs. Now, I didn't know much about Tackle Webs until I saw our friend Steve Chapman from the Get Your Fish On channel. He's a part of Tackle Webs. He's always wearing one of their hats. But they donated quite a bit of stuff to this prize package. Let's see what all we got. Looks like we got a dry storage bag with a bunch of different stickers in it. 
Tackle Web's Florida logo. Tackle Web's Spider Web. Bigger Tackle Web sticker. Have to put that on the boat. And we got Tackle Web's and Cooler Web's. Yeah, it looks like we have a real well-made tackle storage bag for dry storage. Actually, this would be really good for those of us who fish out of a kayak. Put our phone in. Stuff like that we want to keep dry. Put your phone, your wallet, and your keys in there. Now these I've seen before and they're very nice. I've seen a lot of people put these on the back of their kayak seat or the back of their boat seat. I think where this may get some play in mind is in the front of my bolt, in front of my console. I'm going to mount this up on the console so that I have some place to quick grab a bunch of different stuff. That way I can just wheel around in my chair and grab anything I stick in here that's you know sitting right in the front of the console so that should be very nice and the other great thing we got from tackle webs is a big big dry storage backpack it's one of these dry storage bags that you close up when you put your stuff in there beach towels you know whatever you want to carry and then you roll it and then you fold it around and snap it shut and it stays dry but the cool thing is it's got a carry handle it's got backpack straps. You want to throw it over your shoulder. And on the front, it's kind of slick. It's got four different areas where you can add carabiners. So you can clip your, you know, phone or sunglasses case, things like that. Just clip it right to the outside. And it's also got a really nice water bottle holder. So if you get those little, you know, water bottles from gas station or whatever, boom, you got some way to keep all your stuff with you and keep it dry. But I could also see in this being a great dry bag, obviously, if you're fishing in a kayak. If you're going out camping or something, you could throw a change of clothes in here. Um, you need some place to keep your uh, rain gear, you know, something like that. I actually might use this for rain gear in the actual boat. That'd be a handy use of this. But a waterproof dry storage bag, good size room for a lot of different stuff. And then last but not least, a set of, I guess they're fishing pliers, that's what the back says. Six inch pliers, pouch, and lanyard from Van Stahl. Says they're six inch titanium. All right, opening up the box, comes with a nice lanyard. On the back of the carry pouch, there's a place to clip the lanyard. And then it's got a ring on the pliers themselves. Looks like a nice leather sheath. I guess a lot of guys that do guides and offshore stuff use fishing pliers a lot more than I do, I guess. I mean, I've got basic pliers in my boat. These say they're titanium. They have a cable or line cutter on them. I'm assuming titanium because they don't rust. I'm guessing, you know, based on the way this thing's set up, it's made for guides or something. Holy sh Three hundred and fourteen dollars on Amazon. <laughs> what? Where's the description? Manufactured from corrosion proof six AL four V titanium. These indispensable lightweight pliers are engineered for performance and built to last. Features include grip tight channel cut jaws for maximum holding powder and spring loaded ergonomic handles that keep the pliers open and ready for action. With a 60 rating on the Rockwell scale. Near Apogee, we gimbal the engine to exert a torque that executes a pitch over maneuver. I have no idea what that means. The replaceable tungsten cutter and anvil cleanly cut both braided and gel spun lines while Van Stahl's unique line keeper feature prevents the line from slipping out of the cut zone. Okay, so I'm just going to guess these are for like the offshore salt water boat captain fishing 300 some days a year with customers that needs a pair of pliers. How many reviews does this thing have? 37 reviews, four and a half stars. Thank you, Van Stahl, for donating such a cool pair of pliers to the Heroes on the Water kayak fishing tournaments. Very generous. We certainly appreciate it a lot. I'm sure the guys down south that fish the saltwater, especially in the kayaks, are going to get the most use out of these. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to honor the fact that you gave these to us. I'll be sure to give credit where credit's due when I use these to pull crankbaits out of fish. I'll tag Juan Stahl on Instagram for being so generous donating to this many prize packages. Now, guys, this isn't just an unboxing of me showing the first prize 
stuff I got in. What this is for me is a call to action for you guys to raise awareness because I'm going to do a better job next year. I let 9-11 sneak up on me this year, which is when the tournament kicks off, and I didn't do a good job of going out promoting the event, getting others involved to raise money for a charity that I truly believe in. So while we're at the end of the season now, I will do a much, much better job of raising awareness for this 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 very good charity for next year. And if I can find out where what happened to the group in here in Indiana, we'll probably do some lure and bait raising again like we did this last year to get these guys outfitted, to get these anglers on the water and out fishing. Thank you all once again for supporting everything we do here with Fishing with Gramps, presented by American Legacy Fishing Company. If you like content like this, hey, be sure to hit that subscribe button, bang that little like button. It helps you to promote it to other people looking for content like this, and even though we're just unboxing stuff while it's cold and nasty outside. Until next time, do it. Get outside when you can and make some memories, one cast at a time. Mm -hmm.